Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP top projects and in this particular video we will learn the top SAP and open source technology projects. So as SAP continues to evolve it is no surprise that it is working with open source technologies to provide even more value to its customers and in this video we will explore the top 10 SAP and open source technology based projects that can be implemented in real business scenarios. From leveraging open source databases to integrate with popular open source frameworks and platforms, these projects showcase the power of combining SAP's expertise with the innovation of open source community. So we'll deep dive into the projects. In this video, we'll not be discussing each and every projects in detail, but we'll be discussing all the technologies involved. And uh, we have written an article for you where you can go and find all the reference links that will be very helpful for you to develop each and every project. So the link of the article will be added in the description of the video. So let's get started with the first project. The very first one is integration of SAP and Apache Hadoop. So this project involves integrating SAP systems with Apache Hadoop. And Apache Hadoop is an open source framework that allows distributed storage and processing of large data set across clusters of computer. So this integration enables business to handle and analyze vast volumes of data using SAP tools and applications. Second project in our list is SAP business objects and Pentaho BI integration. Like any other BI platform, Pentaho also gives us a lot of capabilities. Even SAP has its own BI. And there is a BI from Microsoft also. So every company is providing a BI, you know, platform. So every BI comes with its own powerful uh, interface dashboards. So this project involves integrating SAP business objects, a business intelligence platform with Pentaho BI and open source BI suite. This integration helps organization to get a comprehensive view of their data, make informed decisions and improve overall business performance. So a question is always there which particular BI is better for that we'll be discussing in, in another video but uh, just to be clear here that uh, it depends upon the customer if the customer already has a particular BI and, and the customer is now choosing SAP so there is always a possibility that they can have such integrations in their business scenarios. The next integration is SAP and MongoDB integration. SAP in itself is a database. It is called SAP HANA. And MongoDB is also a very famous open source NoSQL database. So when we just see from a third eye, it seems like SAP provides a real-time database, which is SQL database, right? It is uh, uh, something where you create keys, primary key, secondary keys, right? But uh, the MongoDB is something NoSQL and by which it offers flexibility, scalability, and high performance data sources. So these both can be integrated and this integration enables business to store and analyze large volume of data generated by SAP system using MongoDB. So these use cases are like where you generate data by IoT, where data generation is very random. There is no keys involved. You're getting some random data. So you store it in form of NoSQL, analyze the data, convert into SQL format and then store in SAP HANA. So in these use cases, it is very helpful. And the next video in our uh, particular project will be integration of SAP and Apache Kafka. This project involves integrating SAP systems with Apache Kafka. So it is an open source streaming platform that en enables real time data processing. So ultimately, this integration helps business to stream and process data from SAP system in real time and take immediate action. So there will be many use cases where you are required to stream your data. So when we say stream data, it means you keep sending data in bits and parts and you do not send data in a JSON format. You keep sending data in bits and parts. So wherever the business scenario asks where you need to have such type of environment, you can always go for Apache Kafka and with that use SAP system to you know, create interface, to create database. And yeah, so the next project is SAP and PostgreSQL integration. 
This project involves integrating SAP system with Postgres SQL, an open source uh, relational database management system. So MongoDB was NoSQL, Post, Postgres is SQL, as well as relational database. Even SAP HANA is relational SQL database. So in this particular use case, both are same. So here the integration will enable business to store and manage data using SAP system as well as Postgre SQL. So suppose in a business scenario, the third party is using a SQL service provided by Microsoft or Postgre SQL and uh, wants to use some API integration with SAP. In that particular use case, you can always go for these types of integration where you do not use SAP HANA database, but you use SAP microsystems, SAP cloud platform, SAP third party integrations, or even SAP SAC, where you use the Power BI structures, but you want to use the database of your own company. So you, you can go for this type of integration. And then we have SAP and Apache Spark integration. So Apache Spark is an open source big data processing framework. So this integration enables business to process large, amount, large amount of data using SAP tools and applications and perform real time analysis. So again, if you see most of the projects involved some other database or some other database processing platforms and which in turn do analysis, perform real time analysis and you know, process large amount of data. Then we have something called integration of SAP and Elasticsearch. So Elasticsearch is an open source search and analytic engine. So this integration enables business to search, analyze, visualize data generated by SAP system using Elasticsearch. So you might have used some something called you know, when you start searching from a list of stores and a list of country names and you just type A. And just typing A will give you the list of country's name that starts with A, right? And then you write N then the list of country name that starts with a and n will start appearing so this type of search is called elastic search in general use case but we have something called system of named as elastic search which is very effective in this particular scenario also sap is very much into something called covio search covio is also another platform and sap has already started in integration with that and for that also you can go and look on internet that SAP is doing integration with SAP and Covio search. So both these projects revolves around, you know, improving the search. So whatever you do search in SAP Fury projects that can be improved using these search engines or search platforms that are defined, designed, keeping the search criteria in mind. Then we have something called SAP and Apache Cassandra integration. So it is an open source distributed database management system. So the integration will enable business to store and manage large volume data using SAP system and Apache Cassandra. Same to same like the MongoDB PostgreSQL, right? And then we have something called integration of SAP and Docker. This is interesting one because after this we'll also go with SAP and Kubernetes integration. So Docker is an open source platform for building, shipping and running application in containers. So there is a like many times you want to create some application in particular coding language, right? And you install it or you run it over a particular server. That server can be of Microsoft, right? And then in future you plan to move it to AWS. What will happen? You will be writing code from scratch, right? But using Docker, you can remove these issues and docker helps to create every code inside a container that container can be built and shipped into different runtime environment and the code will perform as it is so the environment the runtime environment will not matter anymore you do not do not have to change your code as per the runtime environment so this integration enables business to deploy SAP applications quickly and efficiently in a containerized environment so by default cloud foundry has docker enabled so uh, I guess you guys are already doing it then, right? But uh, certainly if you want, you can actually do it manually. You can create your own dockers and perform integration. The last one is SAP and Kubernetes integration. 
So Kubernetes is an open source container orchestration platform. This integration enables business to manage and deploy SAP application in a scalable and reliable manner using Kubernetes. So overall integrating SAP system with open source technologies can bring significant benefits to business, including improved data management, real time data processing and cost effectiveness. So if you have any questions, you can always ask in the comment section. And I hope this video is helpful to you. The links for each and every project is shared within an article which is shared within the description of the video. Thank you very much.